Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. All right, we are on the record in the matter of the state of Michigan versus Ryan Passage, 232342. And appearance, counsel? Good afternoon, Your Honor. Attorney Corey Westmoreland, appearing on behalf of Mr. Passage. Mr. Passage, would you please state your full name for the record? Ryan Jean Passage. All right, thank you. And counsel, as to the arraignment. At this time, Judge, we are prepared to waive a formal reading. My client stands mute. Court will waive the formal reading. Enter a plea of not guilty for purposes of the arraignment. Schedule this matter for pretrial on November 9th. At 9.50 a.m. And counsel, as to bond. Yes, Your Honor. I would like you to know that Mr. Passage is currently living in Taylor. He is employed full time at Corrigan, uh, in, which frequently requires him to leave the state for work. Uh, he has no prior assault of criminal history. He's not currently on probation or parole. And after speaking with him this afternoon, he did assure me that he would appear at all future court dates. Uh, at this time, he would test positive for marijuana. Uh, which he did indicate to me that he does have an expired medical marijuana license uh, and he just didn't renew it because it's recreational now. So taking that all into account, Your Honor, um, I would respectfully request consideration for a personal bond. All right, Mr. Passage. Yes, what is your relationship with Ms. Mandu Manduano? She is the mother of my third child. And sir, are you currently on probation or parole anywhere? No, ma'am. Have you ever failed to appear in court for any reason? No, ma'am. I, I came in here when I had, um, out of Riverview, I had, uh, um, uh, no, no license, but I went and got that taken care of right away. And I came back and I showed you guys that I could handle all that. I, I didn't have you guys waiting on it. I, I went and paid it all off. Well, it looks like Defiance is still waiting for you to take care of your items there in Ohio for a violation of a court order. Uh, Ma'am, uh, that's out of Ohio. I, I was supposed. I was supposed. Ohio. I was supposed to take a drug rehabilitation program in Toledo, and they were supposed to move my case to Toledo. I, I, I haven't. I haven't been back there since May fourth, twenty fourteen. Ma'am, almost ten years. Ten years ago. Well, sir. If you have something that you're supposed to be doing, it is on you to make sure it's getting done. I will you get don't it just done, ignore it and it goes away. That's not how that happens. I, I haven't I haven't ignored it, ma'am. I haven't had I, I, I don't have the finances. I, I'm six thousand dollars behind on my rent. I can bring in papers from my landlord proving that. I, I I'm trying. To catch up is as, as, as good as I can, ma'am. Sir, by not contacting the court, you're ignoring it. Whether you have All the right. funds or not, they don't know that. All right. They don't know that unless you communicate that. 
All right, ma'am. I'm sorry. Is there a parenting time order through the Third Circuit Court, sir? Yes. And what is that parenting time? A week on and a week off. And where is the um, exchange of the child handled? At school for the most parts. Every Friday. We alternate who picks up, and then they take him to school for the remainder of the week. But we never have to How deal with you, each other face to face. How old is your child? Ten years old. And was your child home during this um, encounter? I, I I had asked to speak to him. I don't. I never seen him, but I'm sure he was there. I, his mother was not supposed to be there. I had asked, I talked to him on the video game and said, hey, I'm coming to talk to you because his mother was at work. His mother left work early to get there to, get, to make it so that there was a scene like this. I just wanted to speak to my Mr. son. Mr. Pez, don't, don't speak about the case anymore. Sir, it wasn't your week for um, parenting time with your son, was it? No, ma'am. So why you shouldn't even be going over there at all? I shouldn't. I know that now. No, and then now you're trying to project the blame. I'm not trying to else. project the blame. I'm not. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm sorry, is the mother of your child, her middle name is Anastasia, Anna? Okay. Yes. I'm asking because her and her mom have the same name, correct? One's Anne and one's Anastasia. The mother is okay. Anne. First and last. The one that yes, my, my point is the first and last names are the same, so I'm just trying to differentiate between the two. All right, given the fact that you have a prior, uh, you have a pending case you still have not taken care of for the last nine years in Ohio, given the nature of the charges and for the safety of the complaining witness in this matter, the court's going to indicate a $7,500, 10% bond. Do you have any post bonds or these are your bond conditions? Do you not have any contact with the mother of your child, your third child? That's phone contact, text message, email, social media, third party, anything of the like. Yeah. Since the two of you do exchanges at the school where one picks up the child and one um, at the end of the school day, then there won't be any need to have any communication or contact with her. Do you have a do you have an app that you communicate through via third circuit court yes, order? Yes, ma'am. All right. So I'm going to make that exception. And that would be through that third party app. Okay. All right. There is to be zero, zero communication regarding this case. There won't be. There won't be. You're not to return to her home. You're not Can to my still... alcohol. Or... I'm sorry, what? Can my son still return to my home on the day that he's supposed to? Sir, at this point, I don't have any authority to prevent him from going to your home. 
there is a current Third Circuit Court order. You have indicated that parenting time exchange takes place on Fridays after school, correct? Yes. Okay. So between now and November 9th, there's one Friday. Does he have school this Friday? Yes. Okay. So there should not be any issues with any sort of parenting time exchange. You're not to possess or consume any alcohol or drugs that are not prescribed. That includes marijuana right now, sir. You don't have a valid prescription. Therefore, you can't use it. And the court is going to order a GPS tether through Wayne County Jail, no house arrest. I want to ensure that you're not going to be anywhere near the home or in the exclusion area. Now, will I still be able to leave out of town for work? You will need to notify, you'll need to send in an email to the court letting us know where you're supposed, where it is that your job has you going. All right. And that should be on something from your employer, right? I'm sure you get some sort of um, log or some sort of communication as to where it is you're supposed to be going for your next job or to move somebody to a different state or something, correct? All right, correct. Okay, so you have to supply proof of that. Anything else, counsel? Not this time, Your Honor. All right, sir, I mean it. No communication. There won't be, ma'am. I don't talk to her on a regular as it is. I don't. All right, thank you. Thank you, Judge. All right, thank you. We'll be um, awkward.